L up on set from ksound.com. Let's talk about the difference between contact five and six. As you notice, what 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 I've noticed actually was I have contact five here and I was looking for contact six. I don't see nothing that says contact six. So what I've noticed was contact alone is supposed to be contact six. So here is contact six, but it won't say it. So let's stand these side by side. I'm going to pin them. And just looking at them, they don't look any different from each other. They're pretty much the same design. And uh, as I go through this video, I'm just pointing out things that I work with, things that I do, settings and things like that. So I'm sure I will miss something. I know that they did a lot of under the hood type stuff for sound designers, but just things that I've noticed. So um, just pulling it up, I mean, if we can be petty, I guess, I notice that this is fatter, it's more a square, but you can definitely resize it. Um, what The other thing I've noticed that these are spaced out, the wording here, the library files, expert, these are more spaced out than these, these are a little bit more compact looking right and there's not much of a difference here it's same it's pretty much the same there all right now the other thing i did notice is that with hybrid you know hybrid is a new piano um at the real earth analog analog dreams you know, the new stuff that they release will not talk to Contact 5. And that's how you know the difference between them both because this is 6 and it talks with no problem. Right? So as that's loaded in, um, the th other things I noticed that anything below that, it just makes everything that you own look like it looks so old like for instance let's load this in you load this underneath that it it is it, it just look outdated because of the, the new the new design that came with the new instruments that they recently released in contact six now everything you see see what i'm saying here so everything after that just looked like, man, they need to go back and redo this. Like this, this just look generic now. The design of the whole thing took on the, even the upper part where the settings are. And it just looks beautiful to me. And then when we come down here, you know, it's like all short and small and just look outdated. So, any, anyway, I mean, everything still works as, as usual, as normal, no problem. If we was to take this out, then it just looked like regular contact as we know, right? So, let's see. Let's add the same thing over here. There's There's nothing different. There's nothing different, you know, both sides look the same, you know, in, in in regards to that. But let's 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 go even deeper because sometimes I will play around with the drums. I need the drums, right? And I want to let's get the same thing over here. So, when we're talking about routing, okay, first of all, okay, contact five is here on this side. So, we need to be in MIDI channel two. Let's change it to MIDI channel, channel two. This is MIDI channel one. 
for contact six. So we we are correct here. All right, whatever. It's loading. I'm just being me, changing stuff for no reason. Okay, so say for instance, we we go ahead and create. Um, I don't know. Let's say five channels. Let's make a mono, which is one track. And let's start it at sign one. We're going to delete existing channels. So now we have separate channels here. So one, two, four, five, right? Mono channels. And we're going to do the same here. I'm going to show you guys something, something I noticed. So we're going to put this at five channels. Right. We're going to also start that at assign one. Delete existing. OK. And say OK. All right. Now, let's see. You know what? Let's just switch these around. Just because channel five is, is one and then channel, uh, I mean, contact five is, is my first channel and then contact six is the second. In fact, we can just color it just to differentiate it. Okay. So if we are on contact five, we just pretty much routed everything out. So we need to go here and open it up. Now, this is something I've noticed. Right. In, in the contact, it, it just always, everything was always stereo. You know, three, four, three, four. Okay, I said that twice. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? So even if I go to the mixer and like start, you know, routing things out. Say so one kick model one snare is uh model two. I had three, Tom four, Tom two, five. And I guess everything else would be stereo, whatever, right? And I'm looking at everything come out of his respective channel at the bottom. But I have to. Okay. That's kind of weird. That's just something I've noticed. Like, everything is not coming out where it's supposed to come out. I'm not really sure why that is. But if we come back here, oh, the other thing I want to show you guys, I didn't think to show you guys this. Um, that should have been the first thing I showed you. I've noticed that when I am, uh, can't really, can't really see that. I've noticed that as soon as I launch these, Contact 5 takes more computer resources than Contact 6. And, okay, so right now, okay, this is contact five. So one, two. So we just got Evolve and Studio Drums. We got extra strings. We got a cymbal here. And we got Studio Drummer here in contact six. Right. Right now, it's pulling zero. So this is contact six. 
Contact 5 is currently pulling 4, 4% from my, my CPU. Neither one of them is playing anything or doing anything. And I have instruments in both. And even before I done this, what I've noticed was even blank, blank slate, right? This was still the readings for both of them. So I'm, I, I want to say that contact six is better on my CPU, but I don't, I don't want to like give that assumption. You definitely have to like do some things in it in, in order to really, really get the gist of it. But that's just in contact six. Let's go here, and as you can see, we have different assign. You know what I mean? It looks different. You, you know, you got the stereo. Everything stereo here, but in Contact Six, everything is is it just looks different, which means it's giving me my mono. If you will, I'm not sure, but it's just, I'm just I'm just showing you guys. So if we come in here and do the same thing, route everything out. Come on. OK, so my kick, mono one, snare, mono two, hi hat, three. Time one, four, and my second time, five. So let's play contact six. Okay, so in the routings here, you'll notice that we can now put filters on these tracks so for instance let's put a compress on here now it doesn't look pretty or anything like that definitely has this contact look <laughs> but i mean you know if you understand the functions and what it's supposed to do, then I guess it doesn't really matter. Right. And... I want to say enhance give it more so his classic well not really I, the enhance actually squishes more according to my hearing oh there we go the pro is the pro sound like 1176 compressor here so based on these these are the different the different styles different style of compressors you can use and then you have your presets here the factory say um i don't know none of them say for kick and you can bypass here it's kind of cool Right? So that's that's really cool. So say I want a, a second a filter. Um let's see, what would we go for? On the kick, we would probably go for a transient master in my case. That's what I would usually do. A transient master. Let's see, no attack, tight drums. Let 
Nice. I actually sound like he put it on the compressor, the compression on all the drums. Yeah. The compression is on all the drums. Actually, it's not. I take that back. It's just that I have everything routed to 11. Like, everything is coming through 11 right now. When it's not supposed to. As um, a drum's supposed to be. You know what? Let's mute this. Okay. So anything that's stereo is coming through this mono because I didn't assign any of these, so that's what it's doing. It's just coming through this one track. It's supposed to be... Okay, so... So if I want... If I want just that kick to be affected then right so we good now it actually sounded good though so let's see i was wondering if there was a way to actually copy and paste this over to the next track i'm getting greedy right like come on man like the fact that you can have effects on these channels like this is something new Right. So so that's 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 something different that, you know, I'm not really sure how many of you guys get into that, but you can definitely do that. But I'm just thinking about it. Like if 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 we have the ability to route to route out to our dolls, why, why not just use the onboard or, you know, our our own presets and compression within. But, you know, for some of you guys that don't have that whatever plugins and you know you're just using i don't know i i just this is i think it's cool that we have options you know it's cool this this is more so getting into sound design in my opinion like this is i don't know if this was designed for this purpose but um like I say, there was a lot of things done under the hood that I don't quite understand yet. I'll just pull it up. And this is just some of the things that I've noticed just right off the bat. I haven't dived in the background, the back end of everything to see what the difference was. But like I say, you know, the front end is where I, where, is where I am most of the time. I'm just creating and just doing little parameter changes here and there. And. I just wanted to let you guys know about the things that I've noticed that it's a little bit different in comparison to each other. Contact five, contact six. Um, as I learn more about what's going on, I shall release to you guys what I've learned. And, you know, we'll just keep going. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Ella from ksound.com. Signing off. Remember, music is art. You the artist. Paint your picture. Stay creative without rules. Enroll right now and unleash the creativity that lies within you. KU.creative.com. Creative University. Stay creative without rules. One more thing. If this voice intrigues you, and the music make your soul move. My name is Ellen. Thank you. <laughs> I'm done.